Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the capacitive push button sensor switch and indicator. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1 and there will be less uh, links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So the Kapton um, capacitive switch actually comes in three different models. We have the 22 uh, millimeter, we have a 50 millimeter, and we have a 60 millimeter. And you can see with the diagram here you can have colored uh, indication on each one of these switches that we can place over top. So they come in uh, several different colors. And all of these switches are uh, PNP normally open. And we also have a indicator lights that also come 22 millimeters uh, in diameter for pilot lights in our panel. So a capacitive switch normally uh, push buttons on a panel are, are a mechanical device and they become sticky when you know you get too much dirt or oil um, that's present. Now capacitive uh, push buttons don't have any moving parts at all so the life expectancy is increased and things like disinfectant sprays can be applied directly to a capacitive push button and left to dry so it become more effective and this is better for the safety of your operator. So if we look at the actual specifications um, you'll see the capacitive switch actually comes in three different types. We have a static which the output uh, will go on and off as we touch the switch. We have a dynamic um, which is a certain length is given to the uh, time in which when you activate it and we have a toggle so as you hit the toggle um, you touch it once for on and another time you touch it it'll be off so several different uh, ways in which we can do that so there's our three different outputs and with that we have three different ways of controlling the LED light that's on these devices and the LED lights we have two of them we have a red light and we have a green light now the red light in the semi-automatic mode, which is the four pin model, um, as you touch that sensor, the red light will be on. So it's, it basically is the sense of your uh, device or when the uh, switches switches, you will get a red light. And then your green light can be uh, triggered by anything you'd like, whether it be an indication of, of what's something happening. So then on our manual, LED control we have uh, it's a five wire and the five wire includes the separate lights for both your uh, red light and your green light so if you want to do something like when you touch it then you'd have to wire that up yourself so each one of these actually comes as a M8 connector it's a quick disconnect so now let's take a look at our hardware and here we have our um, Kapton uh, proximity sensor. It's a 22 mil, and you see right now we have the um, the green light on, and there's our cable that we actually are connecting. I'll flip that around, and you can see it's an M8 cable going to the back of that unit. And then we'll have our Click PLC. And we have our wiring diagram here. So let's on our screen here. Let's just blow that up a little bit more. And this particular model is the static output. So as I touch it, it'll turn on and off directly. Um, it is a semi-automatic so that the uh, red LED light will come on only as uh, the sensor is being activated. And so we have an output that controls our green LED light, which is actually coming from our PLC. So here's our wiring diagram, and you can see that my load, which is my PLC input, is a PMP normally open, and it's between the black and the blue wire. So the black wire, as you can see here, is actually um, going into my first input, which is X1. Then my blue wire is my common for that input, which is going back to my zero volts DC. Then on my white wire, which controls my green LED, we have a, it's going into Y1. 
and then the common is my uh, brown wire for my and it's going into the common for the outputs and going back to plus 24 volt DC so my brown here is connected to my 24 volt my white wire is connected to my first output and then I have my black wire going to my first input and my blue wire connecting to zero volts so that is the diagram that we have and I've added a second output on the click Y2 which actually will control what we're actually um, controlling with our push button selector switch here so if I call up the click software and you can see here that we are monitoring and what I've done is actually create it so that I would need the sensor activated for more than half a second or 500 milliseconds before the actual sensor will switch. So the timeout times out and then I actually turn on my output bit, which is Y2. Now when Y2 is on, which it is right now, so there's my Y2. Then anytime I get an input on my leading edge of my input signal, it will turn off that Y2 signal. Then when Y2 is off, then what we do is we blink Y1. When Y2 is on, then we keep uh, Y1 on. So that is our green LED light. So currently right now, my output is on, so I can touch the switch and it will then turn off. You can see my blinking indicating that the circuit is off and I can go ahead and then touch it again. Hold on for more than half a second and it will actually come back on again. Touch it again and it goes off. So again, if I just quickly touch it, nothing's gonna happen until I do it for a half a second then it will turn back on again. And like I said, we can take uh, disinfectant sprays and literally spray that surface. And you can see that does not affect any of the operation at all. So, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.